name is Tom Striegel, and I am the Senior Product Manager for Emerson's Magnetic Flow Meter business. In this video, we will discuss grounding procedures for Rosemount Magnetic Flow Meters. Establishing a process ground is one of the most important installation details for magnetic flow meters. Proper grounding makes certain that the transmitter and the fluid being measured are at the same electrical potential. This ensures we are only measuring actual process flow. Improper grounding will cause erratic or inaccurate readings from your flow meter. There are four different grounding methods, grounding straps, grounding rings, lining protectors, and reference electrodes. The best grounding method for your installation will depend on the specific process and the type of pipe used. Rosemont magnetic flow meters can be configured with either an integral transmitter or remote and each comes with factory installed grounding straps which are connected to the transmitter housing or the remote sensor junction box depending on the configuration. In many applications utilizing conductive unlined pipe, grounding straps can be connected directly to the process through an integral grounding stud or other similar method. In all cases, ground connection points must be a conductive material and unpainted to ensure proper connection. Applications requiring non-conductive pipe or pipe with a non-conductive lining will require a method to connect to the process fluid. The most common method is the use of grounding rings with an integral grounding strap attachment point. Optional lining protectors are another method used in abrasive slurry applications. Lining protectors will help minimize wear on the leading edge of the flow meter liner and provides a convenient process connection through their integrated ground strap attachment point. The final method for grounding makes use of the optional reference electrode feature. This method can be selected to ground applications that use conductive pipes smaller than six inches in diameter, applications with electrolytic process fluids, and those with varying conductivity. The reference electrode is internally connected to the transmitter and requires no additional external wiring. It is important to note that this method is not recommended in applications that are susceptible to coating or sludge buildup in horizontal installations. Some additional tips for each method are as follows. When installing grounding rings, two non-metallic gaskets will be required for each grounding ring, one between the pipe flange and the grounding ring and one between the grounding ring and the meter flange. As you can see, the lining protector comes installed secured to the meter flange. Do not remove the lining protector as it will compromise the seal of the meter. With lining protectors, only one flange gasket is needed and it is installed between the pipe flange and the lining protector. If lining protectors or reference electrode will be used, they must be specified at the time of ordering as part of the sensor assembly. In all cases, gaskets are provided by the user. This completes the review of the four common methods in grounding a Rosemount magnetic flow meter.